Continuing on with clean technologies. Whole systems level change in a pipe solution incremental and radical solutions and manufacturer's reactions. So a whole systems level change is a holistic approach. The life cycle assessment, the LCA, is a very good example of a systems approach, looking at the entire system and how it can be improved. Design for environment is the, another one. Um, looking at take back legislations is also another way to think of the whole system. Um, so we've talked about LCA. Remember, it's that, that process to reduce waste or reduce environmental impact. Um, so it's another kind of looking at each step of the process using that environmental uh, matrix, environmental impact matrix, which you should have done already, um, to see how it impacts the entire product. Um, so that's understanding that big system, okay? Then smaller systems or smaller things that can be done is end of pipe. It's exactly what it is. It's like you've got a pipe, and right at the end of that pipe, as soon as things start coming out, like as you're blowing through a straw, what comes out the other side? Um, or if there's smoke coming out the end of a pipe. So what they do is they put something right at the very end uh, of the pipe to try to clean it and make sure nothing bad comes out of it. So smokestack scrubbers, catalytic converters, those are two examples of things that are go at the end of the pipe. Um, I've also seen things like in factories, uh, they have at the end of their pipe, it's, or at the end of the, the tunnel in the pipe that's going out, there is fish tanks that are show though how clean it is, that stuff that goes out of the factory, it's so clean, fish can live in it. Um, they literally put nets at the end of the pipe to stop any pollutants going out um, if it's necessary. So that's kind of like what the smoked sex scrubber is. It's just a, a filter that kind of filters out some of the bad stuffs. In the workshop, we have filters as well, too, so that dust and things can, rather than just blowing it right out into the air, we can actually collect it and, and throw it away. Um, other types of things, clean coal, technically clean coal. We talked a little bit about this last class. I would suggest having a quick watch of this video. It helps explain what some of the, what clean coal is, but really it's just watered down coal that gets burnt and used to generate electricity. Um, still, it, it is cleaner. Um, it reduces, it's a lot less dirty, but it's, it's still pretty dirty. Um, so back to the, thinking more about those, those radical versus incremental changes. So manufacturers can change things a lot quicker, like I was talking about with compared to governments. So as these things can change quick, um, it also helps, helps create new ideas, but they can also get feedback quick. There's a lot of things that can happen if, it, if there's a radical change. Um, advantages and disadvantages of these new technologies that can be implemented, okay? Versus incremental, it just does take a long time. It's like the difference between um, radical is quick, so like manufacturers can do Um, it's not quite as satisfying because you don't get a quick uh, gratification, but it's less expensive. Long-term effects can be more important because you see this nice change, nice slow developmental change, so that's also very beneficial. Okay, and that's just, that is all based on the, these types of changes or processes, whether it's whole system or end of pipe technologies that can change. So is it a radical or is it incremental? You've heard those words before. You should be fairly familiar, okay? So that is the end of clean technologies. Um, a little bit of information about legislation, what specific technologies can be used, and then and, and that kind of balancing act from the po po political side of things too, okay? All right. Um, don't forget there is a question for the clean technologies about finding some of those principles, okay? Um, there, there may be something, maybe you know of some other ideas about end of pipe technologies. Let me know or chuck them into some additional comments in the forum, okay? Uh, thanks for listening and I just want to find that last slide. There we go.
All right. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye.